GamerChick here with a new tutorial. In this one, I'll be showing you how you can use VideoPad Video Editor to make a simple intro or outro or uh, or a little transition slide for your video. First things first, open up VideoPad. Go to wherever your movie is. In this case, I'll just be using the wildlife video. That's the default video for Windows. <laughs> and what you do is, once your video has loaded, just pop it in and drag it right here where it says Sequence. Simple enough, you'll notice that you now have an audio track and your video track. Now, to make a simple intro, what you have to do is insert blank right here. Now, you can choose whatever color you would like. You can choose any other color besides white or black. I guess maybe I'll use, I don't know, purple. And then you can choose the position of where you want to put that blank. So you can put it in the slider position, like if you want to put it in the smack dab in the middle of your video. Um, you can put it slider, beginning, or the end. In this case, I'm going to do beginning. Alright, so now you'll notice that we have this wonderful purple slide. Now this is only, let's see here, it'll, it defaults to three seconds, but I'm going to put five seconds. And just hit enter once you're, you've you put however amount of seconds you want. Um, for an intro, you generally want to keep it under 10 seconds to keep people's attention on your video and not the uh, <laughs> not the intro. Anyways, um, you can also drag it in and out just by clicking where the little line between the two videos is. Put it back to zero, there we go. Now, to put text in, what you have to do is you have to click here where it says overlay track and you just press this little plus button. So, you'll notice that this new overlay window pops up and you have the options of text, image, or video. What you have to do for text is just type in your text right here. So I'm just going to call this title because I'm lazy. And once you're done, hit OK. Now, this thing will pop up and you'll notice that this is an entirely different preview. This is the selected clip preview and this is the actual movie itself. Now, what you have to do is drag this little title to match the length of whatever clip you have. Or if you have like multiple things that are going to pop up, you can do this, you can do another one here, etc, etc. Anyways. For this one, I'm just going to drag it all the way out to the end of where this little line here is. And there we go, it loaded. And there we go. So you'll notice that the title is down here. Now, what you do to move the title around is you press these little arrows. So you can make it go in the middle, up in the corner, up in the other corner, bottom corners, sides, you name it. Anyways, I'm just going to put it smack dab in the middle. Now, to change the size, all you have to do is drag this inside and out. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And the opacity, you can change how light or dark the title is. So you have it like this. I'm going to leave it all the way out. Now you can also do a fading title. So once you press uh, spacebar to play, it'll fade in. And it'll stay like that. And let me see if it fades out. Yep, and it fades out. Now, another cool thing that you can do with the title is go here and you can animate your uh, your little script. So if you want to do like a, uh, if you want to do an ending credits, you can do top to bottom and it'll generate a little preview, and you can make it scroll down the screen just like so. Or you can do bottom to top, and it'll go the other way, right to left, and left to right. That is how you just do your normal basic title. Now, the way you do a transition is just by doing the uh, same exact thing as you were doing with this, where you're going to create a new blank. Now, to split your video, wherever you want to split it, you can look at the amount of seconds that are on the timeline. When you want to split the video, press L, and you will notice, voila, you have now have two whole separate videos and the cursor will go here, which is where we want it to go. Now go back to insert blank. I'm just going to do slider's position and hit OK. And there you go. Now we have a new little uh, new little blank. Keep keep in mind that if you have a custom color, like you have to change it um, basically every time or it will keep doing the same color. But if you want to do the same color, then go ahead and do that. Anyways, what you do for this is you just do another overlay track. So this one I'll put title 2 and hit OK. Anyways, that is how you do a whole set title, and you can mess it around with it the same way you would do this. This time we're going to use an image, so you can browse for an image or a video that you want to use. So I'm just going to grab a random picture, BS3 guy, hit open, and you'll notice, woo, he is tiny. Now, what you want to do is, put him, I'll put him in the middle and we'll make him giant. There you go, BS3 guy. <laughs> Anyways, again, what you can do is you can do the fading here, like if you want him to fade in and fade out. Um, you can change the duration in seconds like you normally would, and then do all the same animations as you would with the text. You can do the same thing with the uh, video as well, so I'll show you that just for the heck of it. And do another blank, slide into position, OK, and go back to overlay track, image or video, browse. I'll just put my SFM video. <laughs> and hit OK. And anyways, this will have an overlay, so if you want to do like a picture-in-picture, picture, this is the best way to do so. 
So if you want it like that, let's say you want to put it in the corner, we'll make it a little bit bigger. You can move the size out like this, and then you can just put it smack dab right in the corner there, and you'll have a picture in picture. Now, what you can also do with these overlays is you don't always have to have a blank. So let's say you want to put it like right in the middle of your other video, and if you'll notice, now I have a good picture in picture right there. Now, let's say you don't like any of these, and instead you want to put a whole new video in front of your other little video. So, I'm just going to go through here, and you'll notice I have the rest of my little video. But anyways, what you'll do is you go back to Add Media, and you will find your other little video. What you'll do is drag and drop the clip that you added right back in front of the video. So, what you can do here is, if you go here, you can open up an effects thing. So you can do fade, you can do crossfade, all of these cool little things. Um, I don't know, I guess I'll use shatter. These are just like the transitions. And once you're ready, you can change the duration in seconds. I don't know, I'll do two seconds and I'll hit apply. And it might take a little while, but it'll load. You can just change the seconds like that. Anyways, that's how you do another little transition. And there's a lot of effects that you can do in, um, in this program. Now, another thing you can do for your little video is add your own sound clip. What you have to do is go back to add media and go find a little song. Um, now, you'll probably want to make sure it's not copyrighted if you're going to put it on YouTube. Um, there's a lot of free uh, free music out there. I'll put, I'll put a link to a website I know in the, uh, in the description that has royalty-free music that you can download or buy. But uh, anyways, um, just pick a song. So, I, I don't know, let's use Jews Priest. <laughs> I don't care. Anyways. Once you have your song, go here and click on it, and you can put it smack dab right here. Now you'll notice that this song goes over the entire video because it's way longer, but what you can do is you can drag it, just put that for as long as your little title is. So you can also do audio effects, you can apply live effects to all clips in this track. If you click um, add live events, hit add, you can do amplify, chorus, compressor, distortion, echo, flanger, uh, high pass, and reverb. I guess I'll put reverb. Anyways, there's all these little presets you can use, so you can do like bathroom, auditorium, or like an airplane hanger, or whatever. you can just mess around with all the little options by yourself. Anyways, uh, that is basically it as far as um, effects and stuff go. Once you're ready to export your video, all you have to do is go to File and Save Movie. Now here, you can save whatever the file name is, uh, whatever you want to call it. You can browse to a folder destination. In this case, I just have it where I normally put my videos, or you can leave it in uh, my videos or wherever you, wherever you would like. Anyways, once you're done with that, if you look up here, you can find the file output. These are just the defaults, but I have a custom. So what you can do is, if you have the full version, you can do MP4s. If you don't, you can do an AVI. Um, for this example, I'll use an AVI. Here you can choose the frame rate. Now the frame rate for YouTube is usually 29, or is actually 30 most of the time. Um, but what you'll want to do is you'll want to match the frame rate for whatever uh, for whatever source of video that you use. That's probably the best way to go with that. Um, anyways, you can change the resolution right here. You can also do it uh, preset, whatever you would like. Or you can go here to encoder options. Now I have H.264. This is the codec I would normally use. I'll put that as a link to in the uh, description. And here you can change all the video compression settings. And this one for H.264. The lower this number, the higher the quality. In this case, it's not very uh, very high or very low. I usually leave it in the middle. Um, here is the sound compressor. This is the audio codec, obviously, that's going to be used. Um, anyways, MP3 is a good choice. Either use MP3 or PCM uncompressed for your videos. Those are the best quality. And then here is just the bitrate. Um, usually, I choose 41 or 44,100 hertz. And that's basically it. Well, anyways, that's it for my tutorial. Hopefully you guys liked it, and hopefully it made sense because I made it when I was pretty tired. But uh, <laughs> other than that, yep, that's basically how you uh, how you add little titles and stuff with VideoPad Video Editor.